Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see what is the difference between get activity and require activity in Android SDK. Let's get started. So here I'm having a black fragment here in Android Studio, just a simple fragment. And you see what is the difference between all those require activity, require context, and also require argument. And what is the difference between them and the previous methods like get arguments, get activity, and get context. Let's say I'm having just a function on view, for example, on view created. And here I want to get the context. Previously, you can do get context like that. So this context means get context, but as you can see, it will be null. So you can do something like this one because this one is null. And if you do require acti require context, for example, it won't be null. Same thing for activity. It won't be nullable, but if you do get activity or activity here in content by property access, you can get it like that and it will be null. Same thing also for arguments. If you do arguments, it will be nullable. Otherwise, without require arguments, it won't be null. Okay. So what is the difference between them? So the main idea here in this video is not to show you just the difference between both, but to tell you the idea that you can see the code yourself and tell what is the difference by yourself. So you don't have to look at the documentation or something else. For example, you can see documentation here. It returns the arguments, fragment, fragments initiated, but you can dig down into the code and see what is the difference. If you go here to the require argument, or let's go back to the require activity. And let's put here activity also. If I click here, I will go to the Java code for fragment. Here I'm having fragment activity, this get activity. If the host is null, then simply I will turn null. Otherwise, I will cast this activity, mhost.activity, to fragment activity. That's simple. Let's go back. Let me check this require activity. As you can see in the require activity, it's fragment activity, get activity. So it is using our activity. Then it is checking for the null here because this may return null. If it is null, it will throw an exception. So by here, at the end of this line, we are sure that if you didn't throw an exception, it means that the activity is not null. So the difference lies here in check, the null check, and the throw of this illegal state exception. So you get an expressive message telling you that this fragment is not attached to an activity. Same thing, I think it's applied to context. Let me just check. Exactly, here is require context, and here is get context. If the host is null, we return null. Otherwise, we return this context. And in the require, it is using this one. And if it is not, also it will show you that it will throw that exception. And by the point we get here, if you get the context, we are sure that this is not null. And I believe, let me check just for require require arguments. I think require arguments a little bit different. Require arguments. Okay, so there is also this two method. There is arguments here. It doesn't check anything, so it can be null. And here they are doing a check and fragment does not have any argument. So the idea here is that when you get the arguments or the context or the activity, you are for sure knowing that it is not null. Because if it were not, we would be throwing an exception. So this is simply the difference. It's not like rocket science here is just an if and else and throw an exception. So just remember that you can go to the code, see what is difference. I know some examples are a little bit, I don't know, it's hard or the complicated logic because we don't understand what it's doing. But this is something simple you can see and you can understand on your own. So you are a developer, you can read code, and this is just plain, simple code. You can read that code, understand it, so you can avoid like documentation. Documentation is good. I'm not saying documentation is not good, but as Linus told us, talk is cheap, show me the code, all right? So always remember to see the code, understand it, and this much, it will give you better ID. This is it for this video. I hope you understand what is the difference between require and get directly. The require will check if it is null and if it will throw an exception directly. And by the point you get the argument, the activity, or the context, you are sure it is not known. So I repeat the point of this video, not to show you the difference, but to show you that you can go to the code, see it, and understand it yourself. I will do another video, I think, about, let me just know in the comments below, about how the activity starts. So basically, we will do the same approach. We will go to the code, and we will see. When you launch an activity, you don't do like new main activity in Java or here, an activity with a constructor it will be done somewhere else. We will see that in the code, hopefully. If you are interested in that video, let me know in the comments below. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.